Hey guys, welcome back to day three of Pops Week. Today I'm gonna to be sharing a set with you that we built last night, and that set is Lego Basic Set 715. This is a fantastic set from 1990. The primary model, which we built, you can see here, it's a tow truck, along with a Formula One car. You got a trailer, you got a gas station, you got all kinds of stuff here, but you can also build a helicopter, and you got this truck as well. And even on the back, they show you even more models that you can build out of this, and this takes me back to what I love about Lego. Again, this set is now 28 years old, and this is one that I probably had the most anxiety in opening because this thing was absolutely mint and brand new, which unfortunately, it's not anymore, but that's the deal with the pop stuff. He sends it to us, we build it, we enjoy it, and I wanna share it with you right now. You wanna show him this set, Clark, man? Here's the first thing we built. This is the F1 car which uh, I'll try to keep in the shot for you guys the best that I can. So it's got the double tires in the front, which I thought were interesting. You actually have three on the back that you line up, and I just realized it's gonna be a lot harder than I thought. The gas station has tires too. Parkman got distracted with some tires from the gas station, which I'll be showing you here in a second, but here is the completed F1 car. I know what you're thinking, it's a little blocky in the front here, but I think they did a pretty good job by 1990 standards and for basic pieces. We've got the windshield running up the back here. Probably the most advanced thing in here is the steering wheel and the seat which you may not have in your collection, but everything else is pretty standard, and I like the way this thing looks on a profile like this. It looks good from the back. Oh, are you being sweet? You were just trying to steal that from me, weren't you? There you go, guys, that is the F1 car, and that thing goes on to the trailer, which is the last thing we built, but we can kind of show that to you how it works. Do it like this, it tips over. Oh yeah, show them how it tips, buddy. Show them that. So you put that down, and you can lift it up. Sometimes it breaks. Oh no, that's what you don't want to happen to your F1 car. But maybe we can just show it to them the way it is. This uh, this kind of goes up like that, so you can load your car up if you wanted to. And there it goes. Very simple trailer build there. Nothing too crazy going on. And it loads up. And then the best part of this set, I think, is this truck. It's handed to the gas station. All right, well maybe we can show it without the gas station for just one second. Can I just show it for one second, bud? All right, thank you so much. I gotta make this snappy, guys. I'm not even sure what's going on here. This thing kind of reminds me of an international harvester. If you guys look up a picture of those online, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It's got the exposed engine up here. It's supposed to have a roof piece on top, but we were putting Star Wars minifigs in this last night, so we kept the roof off. And it does have doors on the side that you can open up like that. It again has the same kind of tires on it and wheel situation as all the rest of the stuff. I you do have the a door. good job, bud. You do have a bed in the back here. It's got tail lights, nice look of the fenders, headlights in the front. I like this bumper that they put on. Very simple, but it works. There is two seats in there, and this is kind of cool for 1990, at least in my opinion. Is that it was wide enough to fit two people in. We also have a light bar up here too. And now I think I ran out of time because it's disappearing on me. And now I'll show the gas station, I suppose, which Clark is now demonstrating. It's putting gas right into the engine of the truck apparently. Mm -hmm. Down here we've got I guess the pump and maybe this is an oil can right here that you can take off if you want to. Here you go. Thanks for your oil. You're welcome. Where does it need oil at? Inside here. Yeah I don't know if any of this is actually supposed to be done this way but that's the way we're doing it. If I spin this around you can see this has got a couple little flags up here. We've got a couple tools. There's a broom and a wrench. I think it's pretty cool. Nice little play set here. And then I show you the last thing. This is nothing special, but it's just this thing that spins around with the light. This is the last thing we did last night before we went to bed. And the first thing that we did this morning when we got up. And I think it's just a fantastic set. Again, this is 715 Lego Basic. And I'll show you the manual here because again, they show you not only how to build the thing that we built, but if you go far enough, you got the helicopter, which I kind of like. The only thing I don't like are these, this tire situation here. I'm not a huge fan of that. It looks a little weird, but you could build that without that, I'm sure. And then if you go past that, you can build this truck too. I think Clark would probably like that truck if I were to build it. But again, you could pretty much do whatever you want with this. And they give you ideas on the back as well on things to build. And you can take a basic motor and add it to this. Pretty neat stuff. One other thing to know about the set is how well it holds up. I haven't had to do any repairs on this and all the times that Clark has been playing with it. It's been great. The fire truck right there. That's awesome. You think we should build that sometime? Yeah. And the helicopter has two wheels on it. It's got a lot of wheels on it. I don't know what's up with that, man. 
Dude, that's awesome. You like the wheels? Mm -hmm. I wasn't a huge fan. If there's any 90s Lego kids out there, or Lego collectors, I want to gush over this manual with you at the end of this video. But for right now, I want to show you something that we built just last year, probably about the same time, that really compares this set. And I want to kind of compare the two of them. Do you remember this set, Clark Man? Let's take us over to the table real quick. Oh boy. Is it going to make it? There we go. We got the trailers hooked up. Check this out, guys. How similar is this? This is 1990. I don't know what year this came out. We built this in 2018, maybe 2017. Check out the trailers on the back. So close, isn't it? And then you got this light. You've got a light. You've got little work area. You've got a work area. This is the progression. This is Lego at its finest, guys. This is how the stuff changes over time. You can judge, and I'm anxious to hear what you guys think. Has it gotten better or worse? Which model do you like better? Most of you guys probably like the modern one. But again, it's a lot of specific pieces on there. This one's very basic. Which one do you like, Clark? This one. I knew you were going to say that because this one has suspension, right? Yeah. That's probably the best part of it. Probably a better car, too, on that one than this one. I don't think I even said that's a Speed Champion set. If you look back on our videos, I'm sure you could find the one on that. But I don't know. I love both of them. This takes me back to my childhood. This reminds me of good times with Clark. I really can't decide. But what I can decide on is just how amazing 1990 Lego was. Let's say the normal part of this video is over. This is gonna be for the 90s Lego nerds like me. Some of the older dudes that were into stuff back then, whether it was your childhood, or maybe you were an adult then and you just wanna go back to that time. I wanna take you through this somewhat briefly, but maybe not so briefly. I just wanna show you some of the things that I really love in here. And this page right here, this is one of my favorite sets that I owned as a kid. And it's actually in this catalog. If you come over to the next page, I started looking at this last night and it just took me down memory lane and some things again I wish I had memories of like this set right here I'm actually thinking about getting trying to get a shot of this for you here this is 6396 International Jetport I love that set it looks so good never had it but here's the set that I did have this is the Solo Trainer I really love that set I also had this one too the Space Shuttle but some of these sets again maybe you guys remember I had this one right here which is the Hook and Hall Wrecker Man, I would love to have anything from this page, though. This is, like, my favorite time in Lego is probably what you see here. And then if we come over here, and hopefully I'm doing a good enough job here for you, we've got the Victory Lap Raceway, which I never had but would love to have. Some of these more expensive sets I didn't have, but I did have this little one here, Road Rebel 6644. I guess when you grow up without a lot of money, you miss out on stuff like that, and you get stuff like that. But nonetheless, I enjoyed it, and I had fun with it. And maybe some of you guys can relate that are watching this, too. Maybe you didn't have all the best sets, but you had the sets that mattered to you as a kid. Oh, didn't have any of these big ships, but I did have this set right here. That is Saber Island 6265. Again, I wish I would have had this, but you know. You can't go back in time. The good news is I do have a Lego channel that makes a little bit of money, and maybe I can invest in that. We'll see. This page again, I'll show you what set I had. I didn't have this one, of course. But I did have this one. Can we get a can we get a focus? We've got 6059. Knight Stronghold is the one that I had. But again, any of these sets would have been great to have as a kid, right? Next page. We've got magnetic attraction in space. Didn't have any of these sets, I don't think. Not that early in 1990. What is going on over here? We've got a hot rod creeping on us. Some of you guys probably remember this stuff though. And then over here, we've got Mtron introducing Mtron. It's gonna be the next big thing in Lego, guys. Mtron. And we've got Space Police over here. If you're wondering what that sound is, that's just Clark Man playing. Back to me drooling Futuron, the monorail. Please, Lord, let that come into my life. Such good stuff, and Lego should just honestly start reproducing this stuff. Just bring it all back. I would buy every single thing that they made. We've got trains and boats. Some of you guys love that stuff. We do too. This is one that we have. We didn't have it as a kid, but we have it now because if Henry sent this to us in the mail, I would have loved to have this one too. I know a certain guy named Brixar that has that one that I love, but this one is pretty cool. Um, we've got some Technic over here. Oh, that's cool, buddy. You're doing a good job. And Technic, early 90s Technic, probably wasn't the best looking thing, but it was still pretty cool. And then we got back here, join the Lego Builders Club. I would love to. I want to become a Lego builder. But yeah, there's all that. I guess I can show you the, the truck that we're just talking about. Back to the shelf. Here it is. 
Clark loves this one too. Sorry for his head being in the way. It's got a helicopter, a trailer, the front of the truck. Pretty cool. We were missing a couple pieces from that, which is a bummer. Uh-oh. He's come across it. No! Have it upside down. There you go. Just start moving buttons and stuff will happen. There he goes. Completely unrelated to our video today, but fun nonetheless. There you go. Say bye. Bye. Just like that. <laughs> Watch out, he's gonna run you over. Isn't that cool? Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed our little video here on LEGO Basic Set 715 and a tour down memory lane with the catalog. I want to say thank you to Pops once again for sending this stuff to us, having a lot of fun here, and hope you guys have fun too in your LEGO collecting journeys. Thank you for watching, and as always, next video. Ah, we're going to crash!